how to take web page screenshots and save as PNG or JPEG. The first thing you'll need is a Chromium browser, whether that's Google Chrome, the Brave browser or Microsoft Edge, either one of these will work. I'm currently using the Brave browser, so I'm just going to maximize the Brave browser here. And then what you'll need to do is navigate to the following URL, which is https colon slash slash chrome dot google dot com slash web store slash category slash extensions once you're on the chrome web store what you'll need to do is left click on this text box here and then type the following take web page screenshots once you've typed that in hit enter and then you'll be given a list of extensions you want to select the first one here by fireshot just left click on it and as you can see, you'll now have the option to add this extension to your browser. Currently I'm on Brave, so it says add to Brave. If you're on a different browser, it will say add to and then the browser name. So I'm just going to left click on this blue button here just to add it to our browser. And then you'll be greeted with the following message here, which says Brave has not reviewed this extension for your security and safety. Only install this extension if you trust the developer. I trust the developer as it has 2 million plus user downloads and almost 30,000 reviews at the current filming of this video. So all I'm going to do is left click on add extension and then the Fireshot extension will begin downloading and add it to your browser. Once the Fireshot extension has been added to your browser, another web page will open which will say congratulations, Fireshot Lite installed. Next, what I recommend doing is pinning the Fireshot extension to your browser. All you need to do is navigate to the top right hand corner here, left click on the jigsaw puzzle icon which is called extensions and then locate the Fireshot extension which in my case is all the way at the bottom here and left click on the pin extension icon here and then as you can see it has been pinned to your browser. The next thing we'll need to do is configure the screenshots output format whether that's going to be PNG or JPEG. So all you need to do is left click on the Fireshot icon here and then left click on options. Another tab will open here where you should see file settings and save image as. You'll have two options, PNG or JPEG. I'm going to go with JPEG for this video as it's smaller. However, the resolution is a bit lower than PNG. Once you've selected your screenshot output format, all you need to do is save the settings here. So all I'm going to do is navigate to the bottom and then left click on apply and then save and close. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is actually take our screenshot in JPEG format. So to do that, I'm just going to navigate to my YouTube channel here and we're going to take a web page screenshot of my YouTube channel. So there we go, we're on my YouTube channel now. I'm just going to scroll down here just to show you what it looks like. And now let's begin the screenshotting process. So all you need to do is actually left click on the Fireshot icon here, and then you'll have three options to take a screenshot. You'll have the option to capture the entire page, capture the visible part, or capture a selection. I'm going to capture the entire page. If you are also capturing an entire page, make sure you're fully scrolled up right to the top of your web page that you want to take the screenshot of. So all I'm going to do now is left click on capture entire page and Fireshot will begin capturing the entire page and then a new tab should open once that has been completed. So I'm just going to scroll down here just to show you what the screenshot looks like. It's on the left hand side here. And then as you can see on the right hand side, you have the option to save as an image or save to PDF, email, copy to clipboard or print. All I'm going to do here is save as image and I'm going to left click on save as image here. A notification will then open where Fireshot will ask you to manage your downloads. All you need to do is left click on allow and then the file explorer window will open here. Here you'll need to select a location to save your image. Currently it's in the Fireshot folder which is automatically selected by default once you've installed Fireshot. So all I'm really going to change is the file name here and I'm going to simply call it Websplaining YouTube Channel. And as you can see, the save as type is JPEG. And now all we need to do is left click on save. And there we go, guys. Our web page has been screenshotted and saved as a JPEG file. So all we need to do now to view it is left click on this arrow here and then click show in folder just to view it in the Fireshot folder. And as you can see, there's the thumbnail of our screenshotted image here. And I'm just going to double click on it just to show you what it looks like as a screenshot.
Alright guys, that pretty much concludes the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to give this video a like, comment down below, and most importantly of all, subscribe to support the channel. I'll see you on the next video. Why is it so hard to let you go?